I just want to talk with you a little bit about home pages, the first page that shows up on your website. So as a business owner, it's pretty important to understand the reasons why you're doing things with your website. There's always methods to the madness, okay? So it's not just a matter of putting as much information and jamming it into the home page as possible because that doesn't work online. You want your customers to be turning up to your site and them understanding immediately what your website is about. So you want to say what it is, say what your product or service is, say what they're going to get out of it, okay, or say what it's going to do for them, okay. So you can choose one of those three things. It has to be really simple. If it's not simple, as you know, the internet is a very distracting thing and one click and the customer is gone. So they don't like to be confused, they don't like innuendo, it has to be really just clear, concise and that's just the best way if you want results that is. Because you see so many web designers out there, they're very good at, at making a very flash, fancy looking homepage, you know, with with sliders and banners and stuff moving and happening but the thing is with movement it actually distracts the viewer the, the viewers eye so you want your home page to be a step process that you you want a single focus for that page so you want one call to action to be taken okay so you don't want to provide your your visitor with heaps of options to choose from because they just might not choose any. You want to really focus them in so that you know and can guide them to take the next step that you want them to take. To take. So you want a, a, a big headline that says what your business is, say what it is, say what they're going to get out of it, or say what it's going to do for them. Okay, that one of those three things, and then. From that, you have one call to action, whether you want that to be a video, sign up for your newsletter, go to your case study, or the like. So well, what I might do now is uh, just show you a couple of options here, and just so you get the idea, I'll show you a really good one, and then one that's a bit uh, iffy, and then a third one that's uh, actually not very good at all. So. First one here, you can see I've uh, got up, it's called Visual Website Optimizer. And this is the home page here, as you can see, the very first headline, increase your website sales and conversions. So straight away you know, okay, that's what I'm going to get out of it, that's what it's going to do for me, it's going to increase my website sales and conversions. And then the sub-headline is saying, no coding or HTML knowledge required. Okay, that's a really great benefit, compelling benefit that supports that heading. And then if you look at the page, the main action that they are wanting you to take is to click this big red button, start free trial. Okay, that is the main thing with the colouring, it stands out from everything else. So that's the main thing they are wanting you to do. Now aside from that, other good things about this home page is there's some good so social proof here. Used and loved by 1900 customers plus and the types of customers that, that use their product. You know that's really good social proof showing that there's some big businesses using this product so they're obviously getting good results for them and it's popular, a popular product. So that's, that's a, a good example of a home page. Now I'll give you another example of one that's Okay, this is Zero.com, uh, New Zealand businesses, you'll know a lot about this. This is a New Zealand company and it's a, the, the, the benefit of it is this accounting software is, it's cloud based so you can access it through the internet. So their, their first headline statement saying what it is, it's beautiful accounting software and I think that's okay but it's not outstanding because I think the big benefit for the for this company is that it's cloud-based with beautiful accounting software you know what's what's the benefit 
it's sort of saying what it is, but not really. It's not saying what you're going to get out of it, and it's not saying what it's going to do for you, okay? So I think that this headline could be a lot better. It could say something like, uh, you know, having that cloud-based word in there, cloud-based accounting software. And then further down here, okay, so it, they do have a really main call to action, the, the thing they want you to do the most on this page here is watch the video. So that's good because the colouring's different, it stands out, so that's the main event they want you to do. And then they also have some good social proof here where it's, they're saying loved by over 200,000 people who are obviously using the product. So this is all above the fold. If you hear web designers talking about above the fold, it means before you're having to scroll down, right? So before you're having to scroll down, a main call to action, that's what they want you to take. Okay, now look at another example, and this is a popular product. It's another New Zealand company, and uh, they sell throughout the world uh, icebreaker. But now this is an example of not a very good homepage. If someone's come to your website, this website, and is seeing it for the very first time, then what are they going to, they, they don't know what ice, what does icebreaker mean, they might not know what merino is, it's quite a unique fibre product that they use to make clothing, but nowhere here does it say what it is, it doesn't say anything about clothing, it doesn't say what they're going to get out of it, uh, unless they, you're wanting to look deep into nature. <laughs> You know, and it's not saying what it's going to do for them. You know, keeping keeping you warm, keeping you dry when you're out in the elements. Uh, and there's also not a single really focused call to action here. It's there's a lot of options. You know, searching through the products, um, why icebreaker uh, ethics about. You know, I could choose a lot of these options. And there's not a single focus, something drawing me to, to, to do that, to take that one action. So I think that this homepage here could be a lot better, especially this being such a large company as well. And yeah, I think so that's not, not such a good example. So there you go, that's some, a bit of knowledge and information for you about homepages. So as an offline business owner, it's really good to know and understand how your website is working and the reasons why you're doing things. So if you're getting your website designer to update your website or if you're getting one built or if you've just had one built, having this knowledge and knowing the reasons why you do certain things is, is going to help you big time for when you're dealing with your web designer. Ask them those questions. Say the reasons why you want these things. Say you want social proof on the homepage. Say that you want one call to action. And say that you want just a single focus on your homepage saying what it is, what they're going to get out of it, or what it's going to do for them. And you will keep a lot more customers on your site for longer. I hope that's helped. I'm Ben Smith. And this is velocitywebsites.com.